Hey guys, it's Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and today we'll be going over cuts and the types of cuts, all right? So the two cuts I wanna go over today, uh, number one would be the step cut versus the brilliant cut, and I'm gonna get right into it for you. So here's the thing, now the difference between the two is pretty significant, okay? So uh, the first cut I want to go over is basically the step cut. And what basically a step cut, all that basically means is that the facets, the way all the surface areas that it has been faceted in a gemstone is going to be parallel to the girdle, okay? So the girdle meaning when, when you're looking at a gemstone, right, the circumference of the gemstone, there's a little section between the top part and the bottom part of the gemstone. The whole top part of the gemstone is, is called the crown. The bottom part of the gemstone is called the pavilion. And the circumference, the little area that goes around it is called the girdle, okay? Um, so when a when a gemstone is faceted in a way where the facets are parallel to the girdle, okay, that's called a step cut. So it looks like a stairway, or a lot of people will call it mirrors, uh, very parallel mirrors, okay? So if you notice here, uh, if the girdle is horizontal, then the facets are also horizontal, okay? And if the uh, girdle is vertical, then the facets will also be vertical. So it definitely looks like a stairway, steps, okay, and that's therefore it's called the step cut, all right? Uh, the Brilliant Cut is more of a modern cut. Uh, there are many facets for a modern Brilliant Cut, and the whole idea uh, as to why, um, you know, companies and, and cutters have uh, started with the Brilliant Cut is now that there's machinery and different types of technology, the Brilliant Cut maximizes the spark of the fire and the brilliance of every single gemstone. That's the reason why they do that, right? to maximize the amount of surfaces and, and uh, facets on the gemstone. So I'm gonna go over the round brilliant. There's many different types of brilliant cuts. Uh, radiant cuts can be brilliant cuts. The uh, princess cut is also a brilliant cut. The cushion cut is also a brilliant cut, okay? Versus the um, step cut, you could get in emerald cuts as well as asher cuts, right? And asher is basically an emerald. It's just a square, so it has even size versus a you know, rectangular shape, all right? Um, so, so that is the main difference and let me go ahead and break it out for you. So let me take out this book. So if you talk about the crown, the way it's broken out is if you notice here that the main facet would be the table facet, the top portion of the gem. That's the biggest facet, okay? Uh, the facets, the, the eight facets right next to it, it looks kind of a, a, like a triangle shape. These are called star facets. I'm not sure why it's called a star facet when it looks like a triangle, but, <laughs> uh, but anyway, it's a star facet, right? And then there's another eight bezel facet next to that and then there's 16 upper girdle facets and the reason why it's called upper girdle facets is because it's right above the girdle all right so that's these are all the facets on the crown or the top portion of the gemstone okay uh, now the bottom part portion of the gemstone uh, for a uh, specifically for a round shape is called a um, pavilion, right? And then there are many facets under the pavilion as well. So there are lower girdle facets, which is right below the girdle, all right? There's 16 of them. And then there are pavilion main facets, right? And there's eight of them. And if the culet is actually faceted, then the culet also has a facet too. Many times in today's world, they'll um, facet in a way where the culet would not be faceted, uh, and the culet will come to a fine point, and if it comes to a fine point without a facet, then the facet does not count. So typically, there are many types of brilliant cuts. There can be multiple, multiple, multiple ways of faceting a gemstone, uh, but the the modern, uh, well, it's called the modern brilliant cut, but, it, but the, the traditional way of cutting a brilliant cut, uh, there's typically a total of either 57 or 58 facets, depending if the culet's faceted or not. If the culet is not faceted, then it's just 57. If the culet is faceted, then there's 58. Okay? Uh, so that is the breakdown of the brilliant cut for a round shaped stone. All right? And then again, other brilliant stones or brilliant uh, cut stones um, can be in other shapes. Uh, such as radiant cushion, uh, trillions, princess, you name it. It comes in most, most shapes, uh, as opposed to the step cut. Step cuts, uh, emeralds and asher cuts are typically the primary um, cuts that are known to have step cuts, all right? 
All right, guys. So I hope you guys like what you saw there. Um, you know, this pamphlet that I kind of brought out is uh, from the GIA uh, pamphlet that I got when I went to GIA. So uh, I'm kind of giving you a little more in depth as to what these cuts mean and, and how it forms different patterns and shapes. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it, okay? Again, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, follow us on IG, Snapchat, Facebook, and all of that. Leave comments, uh, messages, and let us know exactly what you think, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.